being with us here today. Um, if we could start off, as Dean Salona said, you've worked in many different countries across the world and worked in many different businesses. Perhaps we could start by asking, are there some common threads that you've identified with all of the leaders that you've met that you would say define leadership for you? I think there are many, many definitions of, uh, of leaderships around the world, so I will not be the one who will add another one. <laughs> Uh, but, I mean, if you think about, uh, maybe we, sh we can talk a little bit in terms of what, uh, what I personally consider as, as, as key traits of, uh, of good leaders. I think the first one I would say is uh, clarity of direction and vision. Second one is, and that's the, probably a skill in itself, that how you break it then down in actionable steps short-term, medium, and long-term, which is then linked to the capacity of the organization and to your competitive environment what you're facing. So that you challenge the organization, that you challenge the environment, but you make the possible possible in the fastest time what you can and what you're able to implement. So how you execute well in this regard. The third one I would say is that you have to be absolutely Passionate, because without passion you will not be able to rally your teams behind you. Uh, the fourth one I would say you, you have to be absolutely determined in pursuing what you have set out for the organization. And for me, um, one, the fifth one is, I would say, is that you have to have a true north for yourself, irrespective of, 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 con of company values or company culture, that you clearly define for yourself what's right and what's wrong. And then you are onto the field to play.